hello to another live stream. Just gonna give it a minute or two for everyone to join so that people don't miss too much. There's Ship. Ship's still looking for his home. We shall see him in a little bit. Because I haven't seen him in a few days, so I shall stop. There's Coda. Hi Coda. Well it's just in big posters. Our education station, our donation dog. He eats coins. Our underdogs. Oscar's gone home. What else do we have? There's Max. Max has been adopted because I have adopted him. So he's currently at home asleep on my sofa. Oh, also, there's a donation over here. Whoever donated all the teddies. Thank you. This shall be fun to give out later. Dogs always appreciate the teddies and the toys. Except all toys as long as there's no batteries in them really. Um, so no electrical teddies, the ones that make noise and stuff like that we usually take them out. Who do we have? Oh hi Missy. Oh hello. Hello. Oh. Hi. All you want is attention, isn't it? Oh hi. There's Arthur in his bed. I'm not gonna go into as many today. We're gonna try and go around and see more than actually just going into five or six and then running out of time. I can see your tail. Look how fast your tail's moving. Hi. There's Tank, I think it is. Tank waiting for his walk. You waiting for your walk? Who's this one? That's Riley. I think Dougal's out for his walk, but whoever picked the name Dougal, well done. Who we got? Oh, it's Rambo out there. Oh no, it's not. Hi Chico. Hi Chico. Hello. Hi. This is Bailey. Bailey! Bailey, hi! How are you? There's Baxter, of course. You may have seen him on Instagram or Facebook in his many different crazy sleeping positions. He does love his bed. Oh, well, that's it. Oh. There's Baxter's favourite things in life. I actually got more of these. I did put more of them, didn't I? I did. Rambo is either outside in bed or gone out for a walk. There's Rambo's favorite things in life. Don't think I've got any more of those here. Hi guys. That's Craig. Craig. Hi. Hi. Sylvia. Hi Sylvia. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, Glen Coco. Glen Coco's going out for a walk. Glen Coco has a favourite sport as well. We actually made these for the live stream so that you guys will be able to see a bit about them. Spending time with my favourite humans. Could you be Glen Coco's favorite human? Email to this about Glen Coco. This is our walk board. So right now we're only using it for three blocks, I think. So the corridor we walk down is just rehoming. So there's 12 columns on the left and 12 columns on the right. Then we have the dog's names and then people put their initials beside the dog. So Arthur was walked by LB this morning. Hello, Ash. The Board of Appreciation. 
basically if something nice happens or someone does a really good job they get well done andrew harold maintenance man keeping the building running there's the laundry room this is all the dirty stuff that came out this morning when we cleaned the kennel so you can see there's a lot of it and um, the dryers wash machine this is all the stuff that is clean at the moment a lot of this is like fresh donations you see what's in bags and um, so it gets washed dried this is the pile for folding and then it gets folded up to all the shelves it's a little bit messy because when we do this stuff in the morning hi jennifer yeah. hi <laughs> um in the mornings when we do our stuff it's a little bit messy pulling well because people pulling out bedding and stuff this is our enrichment center basically anytime we have cardboard boxes that we use we leave them down here in this corner and then people will come and get them and they will put the dog's dinner in them and um, we can probably check the rehoming kitchen they usually have something made up to show us Oh, there's Kim. Who does Kim have? Ah, oh, Kim doesn't have a dog. No. So here. So this is Rehoming's enrichment uh, stuff they have taken for this evening. So they were literally... Here we go. So these are dinner or feeds in a bowl. So these will be used for tomorrow morning. And then you have the afternoon feeds. So basically what they've done is they've taken cardboard that people bring in, mainly staff, and they've filled and put their dog's dinner in them. Um, so the dogs have something a different way of eating so chicken selection you can see the dogs names are on them so this one's for Chico this one's for Arthur Um, so right now we'll just be kibble there might be um, wet dog meat added to some of them that need it um, but we wouldn't do that now because it would attract flies and other stuff like that so but you can see what we do with all the boxes so someone went McDonald's obviously today or yesterday and that's being used Um, so yeah that's how the dogs will be fed in the afternoon uh, works their brains a little different gives them something to rip up and eat their dinner and it's not just eating out of a boring metal bowl every day and um, so in the morning they'll get their feeds in a metal bowl and then in the afternoon they usually get somewhere else it might be the food might be frozen on a really hot day or it might be put into boxes what else do we got yeah this is one of our, another one of our blocks one of our staff actually made this. How amazing is that? She saw it all together. Hopeful pup. And what's that she say? Yeah. So we have another kitchen. This is Buck Doc's kitchen. I don't think. Ah, so they have the same thing. Look, they've made up all of their feeds for the afternoon. Someone has their feed soaking in water, and that's to make it softer. The dog might have teeth issues or stuff like that. Um. So yeah, that's them. That's this block's food all set up into boxes or a newspaper or different ways. And what the freezer's like. If it's too messy, I'm not gonna show you. So whoops, I'll just hold this off to the side. Oh, it's empty at the moment. But yeah, this is where we keep all our food or treats and stuff for the dogs. So it's not being too warm at the moment, so not too many ice blocks made up. Who do we got? Do not hose this kennel. That is because we have a camera up in the corner. So this uh, dog is actually being monitored. So we have a separate CCTV system that's just for our TBAs. And we have cameras in, I think, nine of the kennels at the moment. Um, and it lets us just track the dogs overnight, make sure they're sleeping, make sure they're not too stressed or worried. And if there's any ways we can help them. That's a mini. Oh. Hi, Strider. Strider has one of these signs too. Spending time with human friends, making new friends and treats. Hi. Hi Holly. Hi Minnie. Hi Queenie. Blanket. And Woody is out for a walk. What else do we got? Oh, we got Butch over here. R Rory. Butch. Butch has one of these. Comfy's beds and loves to nap, food, and toys and treats if there's any toys or uh, enrichment thing. You can see he got um, a midday snack and that was in a cardboard box or a cardboard bag that you ripped up. So yeah. Where else can we go? Now if I go down to Royals they're all going to bark at me because I'm in a red hoodie today. I'm not in my um, green one. So 
When I walk around, you'll see some staff in green fleeces. We're actually going to lotion. And you'll see some staff in green fleeces, and that is mainly because if we're all in the same colours, then the dogs recognise us instantly. Even if the person has different hair or is wearing a hat, um, they instantly see that person as friendly. And the only problem that causes is when they see a member of the public then, if they're here for a long time, then they're a war person because there's something different about them. And they instantly know that person's not a member of staff. So, we, uh, we all try to take turns around. Usually I'll be in my black dog's just hoodie. But today I'm in my normal clothes and you'll see a few of the other girls walk around in their normal clothes and that's literally just to get the dogs used to seeing strangers. Um, what do we have? We have Jack. Look at that. Look at that. What are you doing? I don't even I don't even think I can zoom in. I can't, I'm using the GoPro. I can't zoom in. But his legs are sticking out the front of the kennel and he's upside down in the box. Oh, there's Shep. Hi, Shep. Hi. Oh, Grace is in with Shep. You don't, I'm not going to come in. You don't need your mask. Hi, Shep. Or will I come in? Join. Hi. 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 Do you want to hold the camera? <laughs> yes. Hi. I haven't seen you in ages. Hi. 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 Oh, how are you? Where's your ball? Look at your ball. It's very exciting. I know. Where is it? Oh. <gasps> right, I'm going into the Enrichment Garden if you want to let you know that. This dog has the most colors in all the time. He needs them all. <laughs> This would be a bad thing if you thought they were all donated by members of the public, but they're not. Mostly it's have been bought by Grace. That's <laughs> true. Or other staff. Because yep. you're a favourite, aren't you? One of the favourites? Okay. okay. Come here. Hi. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. Tell them to adopt you. Tell whoever's there who likes crazy collies and Star Wars. Star Wars to come adopt you. <laughs> what? What? If you have a if you have a really good big petty collection, then you're then you're perfect for uh, <laughs> chef. <laughs> True. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye, Grace. Bye. Bye. Chef has one of these little signs as well. Cuddles with my favourite humans. That's me. Yay. Uh, quiet and calm environment and toys. As you have seen, he has too many of them. What's this? Still with his legs sticking out again. Yeah. yeah. Where else can we go? What are we on? We're on 14 minutes. See if we can get to 20. So I know we've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of our last streams have been like me going in and sitting with dogs. And then Kim going and explaining some dogs. So we haven't uh, for anyone who's new, we haven't really showed off the centre as much as what we used to. This is the uh, the puppy garden. Um, so this is where we bring younger dogs and there's concrete, grass, wood, cut up grass, a little tunnel, tires. Um, I think we have some fake grass in there, um, a le little leaf pit and stuff like that. It's just to different surfaces to get them used to different surfaces. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What do we have? Hello? Oh, everyone's gonna bark at me. Everyone's barking at me. Hi guys. This is Cindy Lou and Jovi. Hi guys. Hello. 
they are the cutest little old couple in the world. If you're looking for an old couple that you want to adopt for their retirement, we would really appreciate that. Now, they are afraid of traffic, so they need somewhere like a little estate or a cul-de-sac where they can be taken and then maybe to a green. They'd only be used, they only be able for about 15 minutes, isn't that right? Because you're all little 15 minute potter around, let you do your toilet and back to your comfy beds. Your tail is hitting her in the face, look. <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay, now there's someone else I want to show up here, and that is... Hi guys! The Labradors, how are you guys? And you'll be up for your homing soon, you will? You will? Yes! Oh god, so much barking. Honest God, there's a very high chance that if I had been in my green fleece or my black fleece, that they might not have barked at me half as much. Now, back around this way. This is our stock car park. There is the three houses that our managers live in. So we have three managers who live on site constantly. Um, so if we had mammies in who might need a knife feed or injured dogs or really skinny dogs who need their feeds broken up more throughout the day. There's um, someone on site to give those feeds um, and then they'll do their nightly walk arounds and stuff to check the center, make sure everything's locked up and everyone's safe. Now we're going over. Yeah, we'll go this way. Like I said, I was now walk down the no arrivals corridor, so this is a different way to get paddle screening. So we'll go this way. Because we have to see Pluto, everyone's favourite sponsor dog. Who is in his kennel? Yay, okay. Here comes the rain. No. Okay. Welcome to the development den. Hello. Hi, Janice. How are you? So we have Janice, favourite teams, cuddles with her favourite humans. I'm one of them, okay? Going for walkies and ties. She loves ties. We have Apollo. She is a diva. Elsie's over there. That one there is Willow. She likes to bark at me, so I won't point that way. This is Finn. Loves cuddles with humans, quite calm environment, and toys. He's out on his walk. He's a little more nervous. He's nervous than me as well. Rex is out for his walk too. Let's we'll see if we can find him. We have Pluto. <gasps> Hello. Still his favorite things in life are playing fetch, learning tricks, cuddles, belly rubs, treats, and kennel time. Hello. How are you? And you've taken... That is a very big round of bed. You've taken all your bed and off your bed. Taking all the bedding off your bed. What? I didn't bring treats. I didn't. I'm so sorry. Am I not enough? <laughs> right. Get in bed. Sit. Down. Down. Lie down. Oh, good boy. Wait. Not lie down. As you can see, he's very good with tricks. Thank you. Very good with your tricks. Yes, you are. Good boy. You want belly rub? You want your belly rub? Oh, ho, 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 ho. No. Oh, scratches. <laughs> not allowed to stop, am I now? I'm not allowed to stop. Hi. Hello. Oh, I'll bring you down treats. I will, I promise. I'm sorry. I'll bring you some treats next time. I will. I'll bring you some treats. Who do we have over there? That's Miley. Miley is very nervous, Polly, but when she came in, she was so afraid she couldn't leave her kennel. And now she is happily going out for a walk and loving life. Yes. 
so much for Harrington. So much for her. Sexy, the funniest dog in the world, quit on the rocks with. What are you doing with a bottle of rolls, Paw Seco, Teddy? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi, Jonas. No, I think there might be someone out in the compound here. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Who do you have? Finn. Hi, Finn. Oh, you're gonna bark at me. Go be nice. Go play with Fiona. Show us. Show us your tricks. I know, I have a scary stick and I'm in a red hoodie. He's actually a really sweet dog, aren't you? Yes. Okay, guys. I think that will be everything for this week. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, wait. I think this might be Glen Coco. I think we might have to go say hello to Glen Coco. Glen Coco can be our final dog. They're out walking on our horn. Can we say hello? Hi, Glen Coco. Hi, we passed your kennel and you weren't there. You weren't? No. Hi. I'm tired after your walk. I've no creep. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, go back to your kennel before the rain starts. Just want to be the last dog and say goodbye to people. Bye. Bye. Go on, put your kennel for rain. Alright, thanks everyone. We shall see you again next month.